Smart. And we're ready to go. We're doing it. Hey, how about that? <laughs> sure enough. Hey, so the podcast looks a little different this week. Yes, it does. Yeah, in fact, uh, there's... Looks is actually a very interesting word because there's a visual. Yeah. Unlike the draft that I just finished up today, which has all of the visuals. <laughs> This right. one should be a little easier for you. We're playing Road Rash, dude. Hell yeah. All right. Just to give a little bit of a background for those who might not have been reading our blogs at all. Uh, <laughs> Blog that just, I haven't fucking written a thing for in like three months. I'm just saying, yeah. Like, I haven't actually done anything either. The podcast has kind of just taken that up. Yeah. Um, I was a graduate of game design. Uh, mm -hmm. I went through a course for three years. Worked in the field pretty much for about three years. Uh, doing pretty much anything from art to animation, stuff like that. Um, so I have a lot of background in games, and doing something like this is just a dream come true for me. Nice. Uh, I did not do any of that, but I did <laughs> grow up, as you did, with a Sega Genesis, and played the shit out of Road Rash as a kid. Hell so, yeah, we did. Uh, pretty stoked to be playing that again. Alright, so we're just gonna work it off, um, like, swapping, so I'll do this right. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Disappointed that you didn't change your name, but you know what, hey... Oh, just damn it, I should do that. It's okay. Okay, after this race, we're gonna come up with a cool name. Don't worry First about off, it. Fuck you. Don't worry about it. Uh, Ugh. What time you didn't spend changing your name yeah. meant we had time to listen to Slater's incredibly insightful commentary about racing. So. Yeah. Also, the sound bar wasn't on, so... <laughs> Whatever. You don't need sound in this game. I'm just kidding. Oh, damn! I just wiped him out. The music in this game is pretty awesome. It is. Oh, my God, it is. Um, shit, I just wiped him out. Nice work. I also gotta stop saying, um, every two seconds. Dude, whatever. They don't teach you when you're learning how to public speak not to try and stall. <laughs> just kidding. That's obviously exactly what they teach you. It's not about stalling. Actually, it's just about like my brain. It's just like I don't talk all that often when I'm at home, alone by myself, talking to my dog. Um, that's funny. I talk to myself all the time. I catch myself doing it all the time. It's really no. I really do insane. do it. I really do do it. It's crazy the way that works, though, right? Like, oh, well, it's crazy the way that talking to yourself ends up working just because you're like. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I'll catch myself doing it. I'm like, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Dude, um, the, another um again, but. God, stop calling attention to it, you fucking pansy. Just I'm live. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I have to think about everything, which makes me nerdy. No, uh, friggin', anyway, like, I'll catch myself doing that too, and I'll actually benefit from the conversation that I'm having with myself. <laughs> All right, what so, do you mean? Like, I'll present two points. And I'll try to see it from both perspectives, and then learn from that conversation, even though I was the only one conversating. So, you're like Alec Baldwin in 30 Rock, where he's negotiating against himself for Tina Fey's, uh, raise. Her pay raise. Well, great. It's okay, that car came out of nowhere. <laughs> Fucking, that happens in this game. <laughs> This game's really funny. Dude, this game gets impossible by, like, level 5. This game has a lot of really funny mechanics. We haven't done it yet, but it allows you to steal weapons. Like, you see oh, yeah. punch people, but, like, you can steal weapons. This game's awesome. I'm this, stoked. It is fantastic. As it's also a real throwback to childhood, which, you know, hey, who doesn't love a good nostalgia trip now and then? Mm-hmm. Look at the internet and its fascination with 90s culture. And before that, 80s culture, and soon, uh, well, I mean, thousands culture. See, I wouldn't even say that's true, because the internet wasn't really as big of a thing for the generation that grew up with 80s culture. Like, the internet all kind of hit at once, like, in yeah, the mid-90s and late-90s. Dude, you really could order Pizza Hut online in 95. It's pretty insane to think about. Yeah, because you, like, look at old computers, and you're just like, how did people use these? God, no shit. No fucking shit. Oh, well. I mean, I'm expecting like this is gonna be the low key part of the part of the play, but as soon as we get to level five, we're gonna be like throwing things. <laughs> so I'm gonna in relish in this and talk about shit all I can. All right, fair enough. Uh, What's on your mind, man? You know what? I'm playing this game right now, and I want to comment on it because of the whole artist thing background. Don't make that like. I'm not gonna make it the thing I go to, but yeah, it informs a lot of my thinking. First. Yes, I did. Nice work. Woo! Hey. Uh, that's a thousand dollars for uh, not even a thousand. Come on, Jesus. Natasha got 500. Fucking Natasha. Classic. All right. You want to go to the Pacific Coast or where you want to go? What I want to do is I want to go to options. Uh, hit C. Oh, yeah, we got to come with a name. Shit. Okay. Uh, I usually go with Slayer A. Slayer A. That's how we do it. I like it. Oh, yeah. Go with Slayer. Slayer. He's like a Slayer Laser. Slayer 7. Slayer. Oh, dude. That's what it is now. The first six. Just, uh, you don't want to know. 
They got road rash. Viper's got the club. If he swings it at you, grab it. <laughs> That's the... That was very good, Natasha. What button is go? Uh, B. B. And C, C is, is hit. punch. Also, so I'm assuming Also, a, I need water. So I'm assuming A is break. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Won't be using that. Dude, you need to. Later stages will kick your ass. That's one of the beauties of, like, old games, though, is that, like, you really can get away with not playing it like a real person. Like... I loved the old driving games before, like the Gran Turismo world, where it's like you can take a corner way too fast and like bounce off a railing and bounce off a car, and yeah. then like you're through the corner. Like, yeah, because it it's no a video sense. game. That's what makes that fun. Like, yeah. I, I, we have clearly different backgrounds and preferences. Yeah. I care way more for arcadiness than you do. Yeah. Well, I mean, shit. We did a whole podcast about that shit, uh -huh. right? With sports games. Oh, Whoa, fuck, dude. Didn't see him coming at all. See, this is nope. this game. Level five, like that happens every two seconds. God, now fucking Grub and Rude Boy are passing me. Now Can't you stop know. Slazer Seven. Now you know we're fucked. <laughs> Slazer's on the, on your tail. Slazer. Did we even mention the? That's awesome. Did we even mention the name of the show? No. Game Boys. I feel like. <laughs> ugh, that's such a dumb name. Shut up. It really is. No, it's not. You're like a child. No. <laughs> Game Boys. Whatever. Look at the little boys playing their little toys. I thought of it as like Hollaback. Like, you know, what? what's up, Game Boys? What? Yeah. That's worse. That's not worse. It's way worse. It's so much better. Yeah. Being hip and hood hip. is so much hip. better okay. than being a little child. Yeah, okay. Because uh, when I look at us playing Road Rash alone on Friday afternoon, it's a Thursday. Whatever. Oh shit, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> you a dick, knocked him off the bike. Dude, can you imagine? You off. Can you imagine? Get out of the fucking way, fuckface. Yeah, you got a rash, dude, go! He's gonna fuck. God, what a fucking a hole. <coughs> can you imagine if this uh, took place in real life? Uh, like this actually happened? Mm -hmm. You know, it could possibly just happen, but we, we don't see it. That's a good point. Uh, I don't remember what level we're in, but. Um... I don't think I've ever been here. Doesn't look familiar. Yeah, well, the thing I was actually going to say before we started talking about other stuff, uh, as the artist, like, friggin', they made three games of this. They made a whole bunch, but, like, the Genesis ones were, like, the first three. Right. Uh, the aesthetic in one and two is perfect, because it's, um, because you look at this, and it's got green hills and nice textures, and, like, the people look kind of, like, they look cartoony, but they don't look, you know, stupid, like, distorted or, like, like weird. Sure. They look very, like, iconic. I'm also, car. Pee off the side uh, of my bike. <laughs> It's like a dog peeing on somebody else's. Your For bike is mine now. Pretty um, much. But like, Eat a dick. like the, ah, the, the, the graphics are really appealing. There's like a nice shine to his helmet. The colors are really bright and vibrant. Yeah. Then three comes out and it's all just got muddy. Yeah, Fuck, yeah, getting hit yeah. really bone zoned us from the beginning. Yeah, whatever. We uh, can always just do the race again. I know. Here's uh. Ew. What? Your hands are feel wet. They're warm. Sorry, I have circulation. All right, I'm gonna go to the Grass Valley. Oh, I gotta go to the Palm oh. Desert, dude. Best song in the game. Who doesn't love Grass Valley? Oh. Do you believe that Biff, dude, man? What a mouth! I was saying, I was looking at his because it's all crooked. Uh -huh. Oh, this is a good song. I remember this. God, this takes me back. The warble. I just love this. The shit. Yeah, right. All right. Ah, oh, racing. We ration boys. Look at that shit. Woo, boys. Ration boys! God, that's enough. <laughs> you are literally the least hip person I've ever met. I don't care. That I'm includes happy. includes grandma and grandpa. Whoa! Yeah. They're cool. I, that, you really want to stick with that? You really going to take that that argument route? Do you love your grandparents? It's not a matter of love. Yeah, it is. It's not a matter of love. Mm -hmm. I love our dog. I don't think she's hip. Dude, put some sunglasses on that bitch. That's true. In fairness, I've done that. We have, yeah. <laughs> Just, you know, for the sake I put of it, I put it. I made her wear my hat once. It was funny. It's pretty good. She likes it. She loves it. She we don't torture it. animals here. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't speak for her, exactly. Here, put this rolled up carton of cigarettes in your fur. <laughs> you look so cool right now. Damn. Oh, oh boy. You're fine. Lester right, was trying to kick me? Fuck you. fine. Why don't you go back to your MS-DOS, Lester? Yeah, I love... That some of the names in here are like Rude Boy, Rex, and Gooper, and whatever, and then you've got like 
Lester. Dude, there's one in the later games like PE number one, and I was like, physical education number one? That must mean he's the best at kickball. Definitely not some sort of Chuck D style public enemy. That, I figured that out later. <laughs> uh, here's my question. Where the fuck is the new version of this game? You know? For like a next-gen console. How about we talk about that on the next episode? All right.